this side up. Fragile. Handle with care. Well, we'll see about that. But yeah, it's another Fingan. It's probably that other one that I just that I explained in the previous video because, well, I got it a couple weeks ago and I'm just now getting to it. Thanks, work and life. So I guess we're ready. Let's go. I have no idea where the hell to start. I mean, look at this. They packed this thing pretty good. Sides. Well, maybe. Who knows? Oh, yeah, sides. Okay. Well, I was reading. You see the pack pop. All right, here we go. Yeah. This is actually almost similar to what I had, and then I made again, and then I lost, but that's another story for another time. But, yeah. This is, in fact, a Y-bladed circa 1978 wizard citation. Really nothing more than a... Actually, it's not wizard citation. It's Western Auto citation. I guess they did away with the wizard thing after about 1975 but this was also about the time when Western Auto was pretty much going away but I digress 
But yeah, this is like really, really nothing more than a rebadge Lasco 37 Galaxy Lasco 3714 or 4713. No, 474. <sighs> Excuse me, I've already had a few beers, so bear with me. So, but yeah, let me clarify. 3714, because it is in fact a two-speed model. So yeah, it has a wide blades, which. <laughs> were everywhere in the in the early 80s but sadly they're pretty much almost non-existent or pretty much what were made didn't last and what were last didn't survive or something I don't know but yeah let's take a look but as you can see it has no head off so yeah cage is a little bit knackered but what do you want you look at them and they fall apart side and I never could understand these holes in the side. Probably for like if you wanted to use it as a window finion. Who knows? See, I know that hole was for like the stand. Other side. Well, actually, this is the back. And yeah, it has a plastic motor. And I don't know how the hell that happened, but I'm not going to cry over it because it happens. Maybe douse it with super glue and see what happens. Who knows? Other side. And let's take a look if there's any some information. Any information. And there is. It's a model LM something something 61487. So yeah. They covered it up with the um, sticker, but. I could take it off to get the actual data manufacturer, but I'm not going to do that. And it does have the slide in for the actual feet. This was before they put feet on the cages. Because who knows? You had to have the wide feet if you had a shag carpet in 1978. And if you don't notice, this is almost like a yellow. So what I'm going to do, we're going to plug it up and we're going to give it a go. So I guess we're ready. Here's high. Boys are all out balance, but it's not a big deal. It's not just doing the electric boogaloo across the floor. This is back to high. Just in to use oil, but at least it didn't, wasn't a sudden stop. I didn't look to see what the amperage was, and I should have, and I should have made a note of it when I showed you off the uh, model tag. But if people would shut up, anyway, I th I'm going to assume it's 2.4 amps. So here's high. Okay, I guess these plastic Marco motors are efficient. 
I always thought they were like a 2.4, 2.2, but these look more efficient than a McMillan. <laughs> Wattage. Definitely more efficient than a McMillan. Here's low. About 76, 77 watts. One amp. And yes, you did hear a spin down, spin down, start up sound. I'm drunk. I left it on low, so we'll start off on low. Stir up on high. You're getting the slow down from the back side because I'm too lazy to, well, with an old handle, I can't move it, so, you'll thank me. Alright, this is going to do it for this video of this Western Auto Citation box fan. Model LMQ9210TMZ, whatever. I mean, the actual model number, I'll put it in the comments or the title card or the text or whatever. But all, we all know this is nothing more than rebadged Lasco by Galaxy 3714 or 4713. You know what I'm talking about, okay? Either way, point is, it's a rebadged 3713, 14, whatever. Who cares? You know what I'm talking about. You're watching this video. It's a fan. You'll thank me. So, yeah. But it also has the wide blades, which were everywhere back in the day, but now they're getting harder to come by. Because a lot of them are not surviving anymore. And this also is like that uh, 86 that I popped the blades off that 78 which was what were the bat where the control was on the left hand side and well because the motor kept seizing up but the blade was good and it was decent but unfortunately I lost that along with a couple of other fans which I said in the story and while it pained me it was a sign to move on and go on to better things. I know it's not what you wanted to hear but it happens. Life happens. Shit happens. And you be here. So I guess till next time. Oh hey Grizzy how you doing babe? Good. Ah, how are you? How are you? In the, how do you like being in the studio audience? It's a blast. Too bad you did. Too bad you weren't next to the to come on down. You could have played a pricing game. Oh, oh I know. We could. Oh, we could play a pricing game later. Okay. <laughs> so for Grizzy, I'm Esky. Thanks for watching. And the box is open. <laughs>
And for those who do have the handles, they cost a pretty penny. Hey, here. Get a penny for me or... or get a good handle, make a mold, and that Yeah. Look, I've got, I've got some fan collectors actually do 3D printing of parts. It is possible. Well, let me get some more. Uh, anyway, record video. Record video. Piece of shit. Oh wait, I paused it. <laughs>